Hey there ladies and gentle boys, Spazzy here aka Syndromes and welcome to episode 31. Today we have a couple of things to cross off of our checklist. Uh, as already said in the previous episode, one of my primary concerns right now is the creation of a second combat ship, a dedicated combat ship, because right now Mr. Cl uh, Krabs has a nasty habit of not being able to really you know, do things properly in terms of how it attacks its targets. And uh, in order to remedy that, uh, there's a couple of things I could do. Uh, that also includes moving uh, the weapons away from being so very separated as they are right now, because you have weapons on their nipples, you have the weapons on the shoulder plates, and that does not really help with the overall performance when it comes to combat. But, now that being said, uh, there are certainly other ways to do this uh, properly, and one of them is, of course, just making a dedicated combat ship. Well, Mr. Krabs is going to be much more, uh, say, piloted in a kind of, you know, manual sort of way. But, now, that being said, there are a couple of things that I really need to do. And one of them, right now, is the idea that I must obtain Mr. Swax. So, what that means is, so, uh, I'm currently looking at the Wikipedia map for the spawn locations for Mr. Swax. And, essentially, if we're looking at the third uh, quarter over here, it starts to spawn around here. And this is kind of where our uh, wormhole is. So I'm kind of wondering, can we get to there through going to the wormhole and just cutting straight through to over here? Because it starts somewhere here-ish. Like, I'm looking at the map. I know it's not completely accurate, but there you go. So, with that in mind, I'm going to tell both uh, of my ships to return to this location, and then to return over here. Uh, we're going to follow their progress as we go. Uh, obviously, we also need to sell all the loot that we got from uh, those unfortunate people, and, you know, before we go back and finish them off, because that is one of the things I really want to do. I want to just cross that off my checklist. Anyway, uh, we are going to... We are going to tell these two shippies to make their way over there. Or there's somehow like that. So, yeah. The whole point right now is I need to set up my mining ships a little bit, uh, allow them to continue working on the gathering of resources. Right now, I'm looking for more trinium, uh, because, and of course, more money as well. Uh, money, we will obviously, you know, start exploring a little bit again, because I think that right now, uh, the idea of having certain different ships in different locations is going to be very beneficial for us, if I can make it work. But that is the future idea. As for the combat ship, uh, so I am thinking that, well, first of all, I'm going to grab the uh, upgrade from Mr. Swax simply so that I can create that secondary combat ship. But I don't think that, simply due to the fact that I really don't have a, not, uh, a lot of turrets right now, I'm not going to specifically aim for having turrets, so I was thinking maybe this is a good excuse to actually make a carrier and have that carrier assist in both combat, mining, etc, etc. Now, the only thing that I am very concerned of th at this point is that I don't know how multiple types of ships work with a NPC controlled carrier. So, for example, you have this situation where if you have both mining turrets, or at least this was the case, I don't know if it's still the case now. If you had mining turrets and a uh, guns on your miner, then for some reason it would really 
try to shoot the rocks as they were mining and also use the mining turrets as they were shooting enemies and that was really problematic so for example if i wanted the carrier to also have say repair fighters well what will happen during an engagement i have no clue anyway I'm going to start off today with quickly taking a look at some of these uh, ships that we currently have. You have a double Xanian uh, mining turret that I'm definitely going to grab just for the sake of grabbing it. Uh, no salvage turrets though, that is kind of sad. And as for everything else, I do not really see anything else. Oh yeah, and by the way, I also want to have the carrier because I want, as I already mentioned, I do want to start um, taking over stations, but I think the stations that are worth taking over are probably the stations next to this area, like next to the barrier itself. So that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, today we are going to do exactly that. So right now, I have both of these shippies of mine. I'm going to start telling them to kind of... Well, I can't really do that without actually being there and uh, being on the ship with a view. So I guess I'm going to do that. Because uh, one of the things we definitely need to do is... So as we're going to progress towards this place, where Mr. Swax starts to, you know, spawn, Mr. Krabs can go through empty systems, but I, at the same time, I'm actually going to go and uh, explore a little bit. Maybe we'll we'll be lucky and maybe we'll uh, find some sort of smuggler depot. Um, I have a feeling that smuggler depots are usually spawned at around populated areas. They don't spawn in the middle of nowhere. Or at least I think so. Uh, that is a wreckage that I really don't care about all that much. That is perfectly fine. Uh, where is the next system that Mr. Krabs can... Oh, Mr. Krabs can jump wherever. Mr. Krabs can just become a jumpy boy. So I guess I'll just jump over here. I actually just noticed, but Mr. Krabs, uh, the reload, or rather the, uh, well, not the reload, uh, the cooldown for Mr. Krabs is actually pretty amazing right now. So, excuse me if I don't actually take my time to explore these sectors. Like, I'm not going to be actively trying to find, you know, the um, different claimable things and stuff, because right now, I'm in a sector where that really does not matter. Like, there is nothing here that is worth getting for me. Okay, so with this jump, Mr. Krabs should be well within the range of Mr. Swox. And at that point, it's just uh, the idea of jumping around until you hit Swox. Christ. Now it's ship with a view that actually needs to struggle to keep up with crabs. Which I really like. For obvious reasons. But yeah, today's episode is going to be centered about we need to find Mr. Swax and end his miserable life. And we are hopefully going to get that done relatively easily. It's kind of funny that we, like right now, the one thing that we don't have is the titanium. Okay, so both of you are over there. Mine, refine, repeat. Hopefully they're not going to be fighting over the same asteroid, but, well, there you go. 
Still... Okay, so the reason why I don't really want to buy titanium to fill out everything on uh, crabs is simply because the moment I get back... The moment I get back uh, to Mr. Krabs, I'm actually going to be replacing all of that of Xanian fighters. So there's absolutely no reason for me to actually invest both time and resources into getting a uh, in uh, getting the thing. Um, who can I sell this to? Like I, I, I'm definitely going to grab these things along the way if I can see them. Like. Oh dear. Please don't. Ow. Help! So I'm kind of tempted to see. So who can I... Yeah, 54 is still, you know, money. Might as well grab it. So, right now, uh, create combat ship. That is one thing. And then also create a... Um, dedicated... A transport ship. That is definitely what we need to do as well. Because the creation of turrets and also the establishment of mines is going to be highly dependent on the capital that we can pull in. Okay, and uh, basically this is what's going to happen. Uh, I think we are already in the sector where Mr. Swox starts spawning. And so right now, it is just the idea of jumping at a minimum of... I think it was like 10. I think it was like 10 jumps or something. Into completely empty sectors, and uh, then you get swags. We'll probably notice that uh, we have found Swalks once the loading screen takes more than a couple of seconds. And let's just keep doing that. I think I am in the place where it starts to spawn. At least I'm pretty certain about it. I'm just gonna keep going like this until I hit it. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long. It was either 10 or 20. Oh! There we go. Well, hello there. Now my, who might who might you be? I could yet. Yeah. You don't scare me. Ow, oh, it looks like we have a brave hero here. I might actually like you. I'll kill you quickly. You have two choices. Is there a third Arl? No. Okay. Then I'll kill you. So, hey, Swax, buddy. I have a question to you. What's big with a top hat? and wants to kill you. No. LOL XD Imagine being worried about torpedoes in this game
Remember how I keep saying that the uh, engine bypass basically kills the game? Or rather, the game challenge? Whee! Oh, I think Craps uh, just found Swax. Oh, ripping pieces, dude. So, so don't worry, Swax. Your contribution has been noted. No. No. So the cool thing about going after these people is that... Okay, you don't get good turrets. But systems and their uh, rarity are still, you know, still a thing. Okay, anyway... I want to quickly slurp up everything that we currently have here before we continue our journey. And it's much easier to do with crabs because, you know, mobile merchant. Excuse me? Oh no, not here. I won't take a single jump outside the civilized sectors. Sir, I don't think you get a choice. Hello, little one. Are you lost? <laughs> we are bad people. There is absolutely no denying about it. So, did I get that thing? Did I get that system up? Oh, yep, there we go. Arm turret slots plus 10. Uh, that's not... That, like, I mean, that's not a lot, but it's... If I'm going to make a combat ship, that is just the bare minimum that I need. So, yeah, that's the thing. Okay, ladies and gents. Uh, we are just going to... have Mr. Clabs just go back all the way. While we, in the meantime, are, go are going to go back as well, but in a slightly more roundabout route. And hopefully we're not going to find anything too big. So that's a wreckage. Okay, that's fine. Still increases my uh, jump time, so that is certainly a thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. But yeah, um, next ship, uh... <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. So... About those priests... Never had the chance to actually, you know, wreck these people. But considering we're talking about shielded ships, like, they they must be tougher than the average enemy here. Now the question is, how much tougher are they going to be? Frigate... Sentinel, 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 Father. Uh, do we have a priest? Corvette, Sentinel, Sentinel. Father, what's going on here? Oh, I don't think they, they like me. Oh, right. I think those are actually Xanian.
Okay, Mr. Krabs, you have Sanian competitors this time. Let's see how you deal with those. Oh yes, I'll definitely need to do that. The salvage license. Well, I think they had Xanian weapons, but the hull is definitely not Xanian. I think. No, it's Trinium. It's definitely there. But it doesn't look like Mr. Krabs cares much. These guys are not even attacking him. Okay, okay, okay. Let me really quickly deal with this. So, where is it? Scrapyard, salvaging license, 40 minutes. There we go. And all was fine in the world. Let's switch back to the ship with a view. Well, these guys are not even fighting back, that's the thing. Well, they are, but they're not really doing a good job about it. So this is what I really like about having those fighters. It kind of looks like if Mr. Krabs gets stuck, like it obviously is right now, then those fighters can still do the damage. Also, what are you doing? There we go. Please become plonk. No, no, those are definitely Xanian. It's just that... I mean, yeah. They're not really good at uh, stopping a huge crab-like creature from the depths of hell. You can kind of see where uh, that wouldn't be, you know, in their memo. I really don't know if this was worth it. Probably not. They like they're guarding a freaking titanium asteroid, so it's not like it is a big deal. Not <laughs> Thank you. I just need these people to quickly perish so I can return to my regular things. And I think the easiest way to do this would be just doing it manually. Like, again, the problem with Mr. Krabs right now is that it's much faster to just do it myself for most things, like engaging stations and stuff. It's just much faster. So yeah, um, sucks to be ooh. Bwonk. And there we go. Alright, everything's fine. Mr. Krabs, you can go back. Me, in the meantime, I'm stuck uh, jumping around like a little monkey. So I will do the same. 
Still kind of hoping to find that smuggler depot. I don't remember, uh, someone said that I need to unbrand everything that is above a thousand? Or like three thousand? Basically unbrand everything that is not crap and sell everything else. Or dump everything else. Claim. Sell. S that is some big money right there. Big value. Let's keep going. Let's keep up with Mr. Krabs. I suppose what we'll have to do is we need to take the wormhole back. And the moment Krabs is on the other side, just instantly jump into... That's Syndrome's. That's the one our client wants. Well, I mean... What you gonna do about it? I can actually damage myself pretty well. You know, I kind of tempted to test something. I mean, okay, so... Hunter Corvette, right? With the guy that disrupts my jumps, right? Oh no, I have been thing. I get... Ah, hmm. Bwonk. Wonk. Ha, didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, bullying these people is fun. I think we're actually just going to take out a nation. That sounds nice. Could I or take over a nation. How about we have to take out a nation and also take over a nation at some point? That sounds like a pretty okay short-term goal. <laughs> short-term goal for Spazzy. Dominate the world. Ah yes, Mr. Krabs. Pay the crew half a million credits. I just realized how little money we have. <laughs> Like, this little excursion with Mr. Krabs is obviously just for the sake of funsies. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, as for me, I have a feeling that we might actually need to beef up our current supply of money before we attempt to actually make a secondary combat ship. Because, who boy... <laughs> Who are you? Ah, yes. Oh! 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 Snuggler hideout! Hey, look. It's this guy again. So, I'm kinda curious. So, are you going to give me that thing again? Easy delivery. Wait, I already did that, didn't I? Like, I already got betrayed. Like, this is perfectly fine, right? Encyclopedia missions, inventory, missions. There we go. Uh, enemy of my enemy. Ah, yes. Okay. So. Botan, was it? I am kind of curious now. Right. 
Remember I have that one thing? Like that one item that stops people from warping out? Poink. Fidget? What? Who is Fidget? What the hell is that? Who the frick is Fidget? What the hell? Who the hell are you, and why should I care? The Perpa? Who are you? And why should I care? Well, whatever you are, uh, Mr. Krabs has something to tell you. Ha ha ha, your common weapons don't phase me. You'll need something better to short circuit my jump engine. Huh? Well, I mean, I do have a... Short circuit my jump engine. Whee! Wait, I already just used my thingy dingy. Oh, fidgets. I guess I could buy the... Th I wonder if it's actually sold by the smuggler depot. Trade goods? No. Bolton board. Higher spy, higher crew. To short circuit. I mean, I have a Tesla. Like, what the hell does it mean when it says short circuit? Unless he means the thing that I literally just used. Oh man, you are annoying, aren't you? I mean, I literally do not care about you, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to ignore you, because that's how this works. Like, I do not care. There is literally nothing you can do to me. So, let's just mutually agree to not care about each other. So, how do I dock with you without destroying you? Oh, okay, so technically this counts as docked. Let's hope for that. So, trade goods, let's see. Uh, there is... Ah, yes, 10 oxygen. So... 
you know, there's probably nothing much I can really do here. Let's quickly pay the swordfish. Oh. Why are you shooting me? Why are you here next to me? Fidget, please feel free to, uh, frick off. I'm trying to unbrand some goods over here. Okay, let's unbrand stolen goods. Sell stolen goods. This works. Man, I wonder how people with morality go through their lives. Is that fidget? Yes, yes, it is. Alright, this is perfectly fine, I think. Um, I think it's time to go back and be a little bit more rude to those people. But we're going to keep that for the next episode. Hey, 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 dude, how about you just... Just, just, just don't just get away from me. Okay, ladies and gentle boys. So the question is... What? I hope it's not with these people. Oh shit, uh, it actually was. With honorable factions has worsened. Yeah, the only problem is that... Uh, hmm... You know, that's actually kind of bad. I did not think that it would attack uh, a civilian ship inside of this system, so that is kind of no. Okay, noted. I guess noted. That's perfectly fine. I wonder if we can find someone within this overall area. You know what? Let's try. Because otherwise it's like two jumps worth of effort. Fidget. Okay. I mean, I already know what I need to do. <laughs> what does Mr. Krabs know? Ah, ah, of course he does. For it is Mr. Krabs. For of course he does know. So, yeah, um... I want to build that carrier, but I have a feeling that 2.6 million credits is frankly, woefully not enough. And even with that being said, let's take a look. Okay, so we have, like, a Velocity Bypass. That is one thing I probably want to give it. Uh, it. We have some, you know, turret systems, that's always fine. We have two 
hyperspace cores, that is perfectly fine. But apart from that... Not that we probably need anything else. So I actually have to go through here. I cannot really just instantly go there. You know, unlike someone else I know. Ah, yes. You know what, I really don't care about these suspicious goods. Hmm. I like this destruction. This is going to be interesting. Well, it's probably not going to be interesting, it's just going to be very quick and very painless. For me. For these people, not as much. Ah, yes, hello. Do not mind me. For Mr. Krabs is here. And he is gonna... All over you. That's the technical term. We are go fast. Anyway, I saw I'll save you guys the trouble and just just you know these people just glass this place really quickly. There is nothing these people can do. Should have surrendered. No, I don't know if that is a thing you can do. You know, I'm kind of wondering, like, what happens if I make a alliance right now? Like, how does that work? Let's try it. Alliance. Pending invitation. Found alliance. Founding costs 5,000. Enter the name of your alliance. <laughs> the Alliance of the Crab. Ah, yes, we have become at war with a lot of things. Ah, yes, hello, Louis. We are at war, no RP anymore. So, you know what would be really sad? Nothing. I'm afraid your station just needs to, you know, die. Like, do not even worry about it. I'm gonna really quickly wreck some of these stations. It's like this is perfectly fine. Get out of my face, please. Oh, those are some high tech stations over there, actually. Oh no, I have stolen goods in my cargo bay. What? Holy hell, that is a lot of stolen energy cells. Wait, energy cells are the... You know, the sh shitty things, right? Uh, do I really care about these? Like, do I actually care about these? You know what? 
I'm just going to very quickly run back to that place, sell this crap off, really quickly sell this off because suddenly my cargo hold is full of crap. Yeah, I did not expect that Is this the right one? Yes, yes, it is in fact the right one. Oh, did I just... Oh no... Ah. I did the thing that I was really worried about it. Obviously, an NBC would be smarter than me and not do the mistake that I just did. We'll have to go back as soon as possible and just grab those freaking things. Oh, yeah, so what I just did, um, I managed to... Um, actually... This is something I really wanted to ask before, but... So, there's this, um... Hyperspace core. Increases jump range. It does not decrease the cooldown rate. Okay, that's that's fine. That was expected. But yeah, um... I just... I just left my, uh... All my fighters back there, so... Uh, oops. Well, that's what, you, that's what you get for being in a hurry. Yeah, let's quickly sell this stuff, and I will cut the episode there. But yeah, uh, short-term goals, obtain enough resources to build a carrier. And, I mean, I have like four something. Let me just enter the drone. I also want to double check if these guys are actually mining and not stuck somewhere. Because that is so very... Oh no, there we go. Someone is, in fact, doing their thing. So, uh... What we can do is just... Boosh. 10 million. And... Boosh, 15 million, and just sell everything. Because in a bit, like, once the... Uh, these guys are chomping through all these resources really quickly. And this is, like, selling resources to these guys is probably one of the easiest ways to very quickly deal with any, you know, money-related issues that we might or might not have. And right now we have, like, money for days, so I really don't care. Uh, but, yeah. We just lost all of our... All, all of our shippies. Uh, where is it? Hello. That freaking smuggler is back. I guess it doesn't really matter, unless he tries to freaking try to uh, open up a conversation window every single time I stop here. Ah, uh, goddammit. Mmm, go back. Okay, I guess first of all, I need to disable the uh, automatic resupply. But yeah, uh... 
sell stolen goods. Yes, just... See, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Like, that is just not a lot. Like, it was a whole bunch of stuff in my cargo hold. It's kind of interesting. So, I do have some legitimate goods in my ship. Which is, you know, kind of strange considering what I've been doing all this time. That's a lot of scrap iron, by the way. I might actually do something about it at some point. Okay, so first of all, uh, I realize this video is getting a little bit long, but I do want to really quickly get those fighters back. See if I can get those fighters back. This guy is shooting me. This guy is shooting me, and I should probably shoot them back. But if I attack a civilian ship next to a smuggler's hideout, you know, their client, then I will worsen my relationships with them, and that is not something I want to do. Anyway, I think it was this one. One way to find out. So yeah, uh, the enemy of my enemy mission. It is something that needs to happen. Like, you know, ASAP. Um, it is going to give me a way to create an item that I can use to, you know, screw around with, um, what's his face? Fidget? I wonder if that is the same item that I should have used. I have to, like, I didn't quite catch what happened there. I think what happened is that I used the item before Fidget jam uh, jumped in. And because of that, I couldn't do anything. I wonder if the, um, the Disruptor is the item that I need to use on Fidget. Maybe. Probably. Hey, see? There we go. Like, every single time those guys are gonna clean something out, we're gonna get, like, up to 300,000. So I'm really not worried about that. That's why I sold all that um, material a moment ago. Because uh, apart from material, like, apart from raw material, we still do, in fact, need the actual money to do something with it. So that is something to keep in mind. So yeah, let's quickly see if we can get those fighters back, and that is when I'm going to stop the video. Apart from that, it is, in fact, 6 in the p.m. for me, and I should probably go to the store real quick. Well, it's still light outside. Okay, let's see if I can re-establish connection with my shippies. And also note to self, um, the... The what's faces are completely useless. Okay, there we go. Uh, please... Return... Return, return. That was actually close. Oh, we actually have a lot of titanium now. So, uh, go ahead. I like how these things just return to the mothership, to the top halves, like, new boing, 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 boing. Thling, 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 thling. Yeah, I think we can get like f ten more. Long. Oh, that's why. It was a freaking solar power plant that I was shooting. 
Okay, I'm gonna finish shooting this thing simply because I want to see if um, it gives me any systems. You're free to in range. Okay, there we go. So my question is, are these gonna be crappy solar cells again? And by solar cells, I mean energy cells. Yes, yes it is. Please frick off. Also this and this. Because, like, I really, really, really do not need them. Ah, but the trading post. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just saw something. This is good. Hyperspace cooldown, minus 28%. <laughs> I'm gonna just... Uh, I think there was some sort of hard cap to how quickly this hyperspace cooldown can go. Like, it cannot be infinite. I want to shoot you. Oh, we just lost a pilot. That is extremely sad to hear. Probably. Yeah, I really hope... Like, I, I need to go after some sort of high-tech stations. And not freaking solar farms. Actually, did I pick up more sto... Yes, yes I did. Can you just... Let me just get away from there. Yeah, solar cells turned out to be a complete waste of time. And that is another solar plant that I do not care for. Before I end today's video, I'm going to very quickly attack one more station, and that is going to be that thing over there, the turret factory. I, I, I actually, I guess it doesn't really matter for turrets, because we're talking about, you know, iron levels. So what do I got? Stolen energy. Can you please frick off with your frick? energy cells. Like, the energy cells are gonna be a problem, aren't they? Because my fighters keep picking the damn things up. Like, I... I discard them, and then the fighters, as they follow, they're gonna be picking them up again. Anyway, we're gonna very quickly just glass this station. And see what we get from this. Ooh. Hmm. Not a lot of things. But hey, at least it's better than frickin' solar cells! I wonder if I could just... Like, can I just ram these people to death? Kind of feels that I should be able to. <laughs> oh, uh, the Lost Pilots? I just realized. The Lost Pilots is because I keep uh, creating new, um, new shippies. It's not because they're, they're getting shot down. So, yeah. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to actually stop here now because it, we are hitting a, like, an hour at this point. I think we should stop doing that. Anyway, thanks for joining, and we are going to keep uh, do doing mean things to these people in the next episode.